Okay, transitions on our videos. This will be a lot of fun. So we've got our timeline, we've got the motion, and now what we want to do is focus on what happens between images. We're going to go, we're going to go from black to our opening image, and so we can put in a transition between these images. Now the default is obviously no transition, just kind of jump cuts from one to the other. And we can take a look at that, just like that. And there are many times when you do want to do that. That's just a default transition, and that's a nice effect. But there are other times where you might want to experiment with different transitions. A lot of the music videos you see pretty much have these kinds of transitions because their images are moving so fast. They might stay on the screen at most maybe two seconds. They go real fast. So let's take a look, and here's how you do the transitions. Over here in the project window, if you take a look right there, you'll see, do you see that little bar kind of changing? That little slider right there, if you click and hold that, you can actually move to reveal more tabs. History tab. Now this is very similar to what uh, you used in Photoshop, where you can see that it's remembered all of these different commands that you entered here. Add keyframe, set parameters, paste effect. There's where in that last video, see that paste effect? Right there is where we copied motion to all of those images. Now I realize you probably went through and put motion uh, on all your images and that's fine. You know, just keep it in mind and come back to it sometime when you start uh, your other movies that you can paste those effects in when you have a lot of pictures. So that's history. But what we want to focus on is effects. And so when you go to this Effects tab, you'll see Presets. Those are fun to play with. Audio Effects, Audio Transitions. We won't be using any of the audio yet. Uh, the Video Effects, not yet. But what we want to look at in this video is Video Transitions. And there are quite a few of them. Now, the default transition is something called a Dissolve. More specifically, is a Cross Dissolve. And the cross dissolve usually will have this little frame around it, which indicates that it's the default transition. And what that means is that if you use the, the uh, shortcut key for a default transition, it'll automatically insert this particular transition. And a cross dissolve is the most basic, and it is my favorite, transition. It's always a very nice way to to start a video and most people don't even really pay attention to it because it just seems so natural it just cross fades from one image to the other so here's how it works I'm going to take this transition here click it and you can see it's lit up there highlight it hold down the left mouse key and drag in between two different images now I'm going to do that. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see that a little better here. So let me uh, make this image just a little bit larger, have a little more control. So there's our area between images. We've got black and our opening image. So I'm going to click, hold, hold the mouse button, drag that transition. And uh, you might notice that this transition could be set here, be over there. Or what we want to do is we want to put it in right between these two images so that it's halfway on black, halfway on the other image, release. And then you'll see it says cross dissolve right there. And then you can test it, see how it looks. So there it is, a real nice fade in. Or you can scrub through that on that timeline and see that develop. So that's, that's how you add a transition, cross dissolve. Now this particular cross dissolve, if I click on it, You'll notice that in effects controls, we have some things that we can do with this. And one of the most fundamental things to do, and it'll be the extent of what we talk about here today, is just the duration. Right now, that is, how much do you think that is? Ask yourself, how much is that? One, zero, zero. That's one second and zero frames, so it's just one second. But you can change that if you want it to be... Uh, two seconds. You could either use that. You could either do the slider like that, or you can click on it and just type two zero zero. And now the 
dissolve will be a lot slower. And you'll see it'll take two seconds to move, so it's real slow. And so that's it. That's placing the transition. And then you can click on it and go to Effects Controls. And you can adjust the duration. And that's all we need to look at on that. Now there's different types. You can see these different uh, dissolves here that you can experiment with. And that's what I'm going to have you do after this. You want to be careful with transitions that you don't you don't use them so much that it that it detracts from the story you're trying to tell. You don't, you know, the idea is not to have a, a video about transitions. So you want it to enhance your story, not detract from the story. So be careful on how you use these. And once again, at times it's very much appropriate not to use any transitions. Okay, so once again, you click, drag, and place that right on in between those two. Cross dissolve, click, drag it on over, and of course you can watch that thing. And so, uh, once again, I, I like the cross dissolve, but if you want to go in here, there's some other things here. You got irises, uh, page, page peels are kind of neat. Sometimes, uh, especially if you're telling a story, it's kind of fun with these things. These have some uses that we've done in the past that are pretty neat. Or it looks like you're turning the page of a book. There it is right there. See that? And once again, you can click on the page peel, and it's set for one second. If you want it slower, well, let's do a real slow one. Three seconds. I mean, we'll turn that page real slowly. Look at that. That's kind of fun. That's kind of a nice deal if you if you have a movie and you're really changing a, uh, the storyline as if it's a new chapter. What else is there? So there's page peels, different ways, slides. Those are those can be neat. Center split, multi spin, push. We've used the push and to some effect before. Let's see what that does. That's kind of fun there too. And of course, you can decrease it too if you want to go fast. We could set it for for a 15 half a second would be 15 frames, and so then that would quickly change. So there you go. That's transitions. Uh, the presets, I think that we will talk about those in another lesson. If you want, you can experiment with those things, but generally what you're going to do with those uh, is place those over an image. So I think I'll just let you take a look. Well, I'll, I'll throw one on here real quick if you want to do that. But it's not a transition, but like beveled edges. Well, let's say, uh, what picture do we have here? Okay, beveled edges. Put it right on top. <laughs> I was trying to put the folder on there. It's a late night. Let's try that. There we go. Oh boy. So there you can see we got these cool little beveled edges. It's uh, that's an interesting effect. It's a little heavy, but it is kind of neat. And once again, you can adjust that. If you go to effects controls here, let's see what we have here. There is the beveled edges. And so you can adjust the thickness, the light angle. There's just so many different options of things you can do. Ooh, gotta be careful there. What do we have? Wow. I think it might be easier to put in some numbers. Point 0.1. What's that going to do? Yeah, it's hard to slide that. Let's try 0.05. So there you go. That's just adjusting the thickness of the bevel around that. So if you want, you can practice with some of those things too and experiment. Like I said, uh, you just got to experiment. See what you like. Have some fun with it. You can always press Control z to undo it. And you always have your backup timeline to go to. In fact, at this point, you might want to make another timeline like I have here. And do the same thing. Copy everything that you've done with all of that motion because it's in pretty good shape. And then go in and experiment with different uh, the presets and the video transitions. So have fun with that. Thanks for watching. See you next time.